<laughs> okay, so 459. Pff, not going to happen here, I'm afraid. Um, Lee Watts, IQ, EQ, curious and humble employees. So let's start with people analytics. So what do I do? I work with people analytics. I work in recruitment. And the whole goal here is to use data as your evidence point. So essentially, we want to intelligently predict human behavior and using data as the evidence. You'll see later on through these slides, and there are a few of them, that we quantify that. And quantified feedback in HR is best. Otherwise, it's emotional mudslinging. Let's be honest, right? Moving forward. Why IQ versus EQ? This is so important, guys. And it's not a case of getting the most clever person with the best ability with people. It's about finding excellent combinations. So at birth, and this is the Rubik's Cube of your DNA, we are given several gifts which we cannot choose. So the first one is IQ. The second one is an affinity towards introversion or extroversion. There is a scale, and you can be anywhere on that, OK? Um, th the way you look, naturally, and of course your parents, right? This is your DNA. This is what you're given at birth. These are your gifts. Right, IQ. Let's cover this. So there's a couple of guys out there in the States hanging out in the West Coast in California. One of them's called Dr. Bradbury. The other one's called Dr. Greaves. I'll call them Travis and Gene. And basically what they discovered was that the combination between IQ and EQ is absolutely critical. There's 77% present in the Fortune 500 companies in the US. These guys are making more money than they know what to do with on the basis that they've discovered a niche, something that HR has never done and something we should definitely consider. IQ, it only gives you a 20% chance at being successful within your career. Please just read those letters. 20% chance at being successful within your career, okay? It's a small, small percentage. EQ, on the other hand, um, well, it gives you a 58% chance at being successful within your career. So there's very different. So you may be born really clever, and you've got an ability to work through, I don't know, academic or technical problems to a point of solution. But essentially, if you cannot communicate, you are nowhere. Nowhere. And if you communicate too much, and you're a little bit effervescent, or whatever it may be, and you're you know, not too bright, well, you're also nowhere, unfortunately. So IQ, what is it? And I'm just going to read the slide because this is the perfect dictionary definition of what IQ is. It directly relates to your ability to retain, refine, process, as well as understand technical and academic problems to a point of solution. Brilliant. Isn't it funny how we always recruit for that? We always recruit for that. I want brilliant people. I want 90th percentile people. OK, cool. Moving on. EQ, I love this guy. He's real. YouTube him. His name's Enrico. He's awesome. What he does is he actually gives people emotional advice. So he sits them down, he charges them $2, and he tells them and works through their problems with them. Why is EQ super important? Well, it's the most important thing. It covers four pillars of any communication channel, four pillars of any successful employment. And those are self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship management. We can test this, guys. We can quantify this. We can do this before we fall in love with a candidate and realize they're rubbish. We can do this. Cool. So this is where I'm going to spend the bulk of the next 35 seconds. <laughs> How does this help HR teams? Well, I've put down a few um, quotes here, and these are legitimate. So Laszlo Bach was the senior vice president of people, Google People Operations. He was there for 10 years. He retired at age 44. Awesome. How amazing. By cutting through the science of human psychology, you will win any argument through a conversation using data as the evidence. That is like nectar to HR. Nectar. Why are you unhappy? Give me a quantified reason. Why should I give you more? Show me where you made money. Show me where you saved money. Show me where you improved my efficiency. Awesome. The way you recruit, manage, and retain staff, I'll say it. It's outdated. Anybody know Adam Grant? He's awesome. He's the one who came up with Group Think. And he came up for Group Think with Laszlo Bach. Mental. This guy's about 29 years old. It's incredible. He's a PhD. He's got a doctorate. He hangs out at all the coolest universities. And you know what? He's got the best combination of IQ and EQ we can find. Good news. And then me. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> 
you know, I did an interactive intelligence roadshow and we came up with an idea that the sweet spot in any industry sector is the limitation point. So if you can lift that limitation, you can create new rules, and that is the definition of innovation. So how do we do this with people? Well, by lifting the innovation limitation, you will find, and I promise you, I've recruited 141 people in the last 14 months, and they are all exceptional. You will find, enjoy, and retain brilliant people. 90th percentile people, unicorn people, Lee Watts. <laughs> cool. How does this relate to the HR business objectives? Seriously, are you actually kidding me? Right? Have you thought about what the business is trying to achieve with their people, with their people data? Have we tried to understand what the business objectives are and where HR sits within that strategic or pressure release function? Okay? We have to, have to, have to sit at the top table. And if they're not going to give you that, you can either speak up or you can walk out. It's as simple as that, guys. They need to learn and we need to educate them. Curious people, so IQ. IQ generally gives you pretty curious people. They want to work through solutions, uh, through problems to find solutions. That's what they want to do. So these people tend to make you money, they save you money, and they improve your efficiency. But like I said, you know, some of the most dodgiest folk in the world have great IQs. Some of the craziest people in the world have great IQs. 2% of our 7 billion population have an IQ of more than 150. So what does that mean? It means if you've got a high IQ, you're actually a freak. Okay, humble people will accept feedback, action, the feedback, fast learning, great. So we want to know more, read these books. This is it, Leaders are Readers, Emotional Intelligence 2.0, Bradbury and Greaves, Work Rules, Laszlo Bock, do it. That's the Catalyst Point, Originals, Adam Grant, Grit, Angela Dugworth, loving you, thank you very much. <laughs>